Oh, welcome back to Aldridge Farm. As you see, we moved on a period. Still working like hell to try and get everything ready. It looks like we won't be planting there until late spring at the earliest. May even be early summer. We're going to be very late this year. I think I overestimated how much time it takes for us to do what we're doing. Never mind, we're we're cracking on. Right, I'm going to start cultivating the fields as we need to get something done. And oh there, he's got stuck again. Just have a look. See, ah, oh, he's wrapped himself around another tree. This, to come out of character for one moment, is my, entirely my fault. I don't know where he, whether he will pick up where he left off, but I did not leave anywhere near enough headlands on this field. All my fault. Oh, he's, he's found it again, so we're, we'll let him carry on. And well, we might as well have a look at this. There's Tom, uh, and here is Kylie. She's getting on quite well with the home field, getting it ploughed. This one certainly won't want any more nutrients, so we'll just check the going on here, and we will have to put some muck down on on there. I'll finish mucking up to the how far they're ploughed, so it's time now to have a go at a little bit of a field work. Uh, this should be six, so uh, is that actually only six? is isn't six one. Oh, we put it down to five nine, that'll do. Bring that over. Oh. And he's got stuck again, so we can get over. Guys, be good practice for him. We we'll try here. Mm. Don't look. Oh, yes, it looks like he might have done it. So he's now going to par Harrow this field, eh? He's still got stuck. I think we must have a look. Oh, he's got, he's got well and truly stuck around this tree. I should have put another couple of headlands on to give him a chance. Turn this round. Bring up the... Uh, yeah, I was afraid he's going to get stuck on this one. I think he's... He's probably on... Um, let's, let's see if he's close enough. Oh yeah, well it looks like we've got him back on track again. In fact, we've got the play the wrong way around now, I think. Right. I think it's going to be a regular job to sort him out. Right, I'm just going to come out of cab for one moment and have a look at this. Yes, I do. Right. Back in cab, and we'll explain what is going on. Drop it in, and away we go. All right, well, BP got in touch with me uh, asking about his uh, solar panel farm, which he's heard is going up. I hadn't actually heard any about it, so I put a few feelers. And found, yes, the District Council have had outline planning permission. Now, as you may not know the way the planning stage is called, but you go for outline person. The District Council, although it's going to be on our territory, or in our parish, won't contact us until they get some firm proposals. They have passed the idea of a sort of panels on the... Uh, area which would be up where the donkey sentry was just come across here and we we'll just come back into it again and get ready to drop in to get this final little piece here done this isn't going to be a very quick job none of the jobs at the moment are going to be quick and he's slipping again. Let's see if he can get over it this time. I think we might just need to run a headland. 
and uh, if you know what we're stuck on oh we split caught that tree let's go through the hedge you haven't seen that and I think we've got to go and look at him again oh yeah he's found another tree there's a lot of trees on this oh he's lifted it I think he's just about through the tree pier area though. I hope so. But the, I don't bother to turn the plow this time. Now, I don't know if he will pick pick it up again. Oh, he's not a bad driver. That's our new guy who we're hoping that our friends at Crawford Browns don't make any fuss over. Uh, Yes, they have. Get back to what I was saying. There's been outline transmission. And my mate in the planning department, it took me uh, quite a bit of money last night on drinks and uh, a meal to, for him to actually tell me who it is. Well, he wouldn't tell me the name of the person. He did leave a few clues to the, the company was going to do it. So I got mother-in-law, when I got back, to have a look up on the internet, see if she could find out anything, and she did, she got Trump's. And it's actually, you might remember the fact that because the old Lord of Manor died, his wife didn't want to keep, uh, continue with the business. So uh, the their daughter has taken over the business and it's her behind it, her company. As you know that company mainly buys and sells farmland and they with it one intention to keep it as farmland or for agricultural purposes, shall we say. Not necessary farmland as such. Well they they saw this land which is common land but it's not part of the original charter upon the donkey sanctuary the donkey sanctuary stuff is the stuff on the lowlands not on the highlands there that's an ordinary common land so it hasn't got any of the uh, extra bits and pieces attached to it well they decided that as we're coming at the EU because how they make the money is not so much on the buying and selling the farmland but on the subsidies they get from the EU it gets rather political now, and I'm not going to go into the machinations of it all. But they have decided they decide they needed another income stream because at the moment they make money from owning the land and keeping it for farmland. They get paid by the EU, and I'm not going to go into whether it's a good or bad thing. For first, it's quite a good thing because it has kept the, all the farmland here in for farming. Not one acre of farmland has been lost since the what was his lordship company took over. It's the old rich land company limited. Uh, incorporated in London but based actually here. Actually, I think the base is still a ladyship's house, which is not a very big house. Not a, and it's a very small company, but they have a lot of money. They have invested the money they've got from the EU and have made good use of it. So they have decided that if they could get into solar panels, I think we I think we're miss we we'll miss every other one it'd be easier they could get in and make a little bit of money on that and help the local community you know we're all for that we're all for the local community being helped just get rid of that uh, animal hud i don't need that i will have to go around soon and look over all the animals well, not just yet and I actually managed as luck would have it the CEO 
of course her ladyship's daughter I, I can't find myself to call the lady of the manor although she actually is <coughs> can't find it in my heart to not whilst her ladyship's still alive well as luck would have it she's actually staying locally and like her mother and father they don't use a hotel when they're staying locally uh, for anything they don't like the hotel because of their clients uh, you know it's with Crawford Brown's hangout well they used the pub and they got a couple of rooms in the pub they let out and that's where they normally uh, where she was staying so I had a late very late night I got round to the pub about 10 o'clock managed to catch Marisha Mar Melissa in I can't pronounce her name very well and uh, she explained exactly what they were doing I actually met her you know, they had to talk to her and she explained exactly what they're going to do they're going to put a series of solar panels on it uh, with a glint in her eyes she said and of course it will upset the Crawford Browns as you know there's bad blood between the Crawford Browns and the ladyship and the Lord, his lordship and which is passed on to the daughter they are uh, one, they said there are two reasons. One, they want to get into renewable energy. They talk about putting up some wind turbines up there as well. It may not be perfect, they don't think, for wind turbines. They've got a good word with their folks to find out. But the idea is that they have a full power plant up there solar, hopefully wind turbines and they even think about putting a small turbine in the stream, you see in the stream what comes out of the waterfall but that, I don't think they'll get planned permission for that at all and I don't think that, that will produce much power we're not really an area for turbine, water turbines so that's the story, so BP was right here head the story was right, it wasn't just pub talk. And if that happens, they said they have, have worked out the price and with the subsidies they will get for it, how much they can afford to do. And they said they will be producing, if they get the go ahead, enough for the entire district, not just this particular. Part of the valley, the, the entire district, uh, it's a big area. And they said, well, if we get permission, what we will do, we will actually not just be producing the power, but we will also be selling it to the, to the individuals. It will mean a big expansion of the company. And they're going to run the company from uh, the main town in the area can't run it from here, there just isn't the infrastructure. Uh, so mother-in-law will tell you our broadband isn't the best in the world and they will need good broadband access. But the town has got good broadband and they're going to run it from there. They've got already sorted out some offices to take over. And they have said if they go ahead they will par the locals for free, free electricity. It's got two two ways to look at that. One is that because they're going to they're bribing the individuals so that we don't kick up a fuss but who the hell's going to kick up a fuss and get free electricity? It will cost everybody else outside this particular village and it will only be this village and then they said they were going to open up a bit more for cheaper power around but then they realised that would take in uh, Crawford Brown's latest development uh, or attempted development which is, of course is going ahead now this could I can see this uh, going to Parliament in the end because if the district I'm in the district council reckon that the, he's in the planning department and he reckons the councils are very Pro it except for two. Crawford, uh, Mrs. Council, Mrs. Crawford Brown, and one other, one of her acolytes. 
the only two on the plan committee who, uh, who stood against it, but the other four members were all for it, and, and the chairman's for it, which is uh, even better. So if that goes ahead, it will cut the costs of businesses around here, by, and we will and we may even be able to get enough businesses in because I do, you may not remember the area where the donkey farm was where we used to get a lot of grass from and hay from it's a big area it's actually a massive amount of space up there and they can get a lot of panels up there and they intend to So our BP will be rather delighted to know he was right. Look, I missed some at the end. Never mind. Hopefully, no. The uh, this will be better mucked. We're still going to have to put a lot of fertilizer, fertilizer in this. It hasn't come up as well as expected. Oh, other news. Well, not a lot actually. Uh, Timothy Farthing still waiting to hear from the bishop, and as I explained, it's a new bishop, a young bishop, and we are one of the smallest sees in the country. See, is the area of bishop con controls. Um, it's actually, we're that small. We haven't got a cathedral, um, but we haven't got a palace either. Bishops normally live in palaces as well, on the bigger uh, seas they do, but not here. He's got a small uh, modern house actually, which he's very happy with the par I know the old bishop was very happy with having a modern house. He didn't want a palace. As he explains, he cost a small fortune to heat. They're cold, they're damp. So he, he was more than happy to have a modern, small house, which was easy to look after. And the fact that he hasn't got a cathedral is a little bit of a donor for a bishop. But he has, they have a large church in the town, which is where he's based. But he can sit he has got a seat at the Synod, which is the Church's uh, Parliament, for want of a better word. Or if you're more democratic minded, this the sort of senator type government, but the, they make the rules for the Church of England, and he has a seat and a vote on that. All girls with being a bishop. Yeah, it's just this isn't looking too bad. We'll get this done. I think we make this quite a short one. It's been a few long videos, or longer videos just lately, so we we'll keep this one a little bit shorter. Just get this done and try and get the plowman done. I'll carry on until the plowman's done on both of those, I think. We probably will make it a long one again. You know me and my uh, estimation how long things are going to take. I think what I'm going to do is get 12 done, then I'm going to seed. Um, we want barley. And I think I'm going to put barley back into 12, both halves. And I need, next one I need to get ready is what first one time. First of those two to finish plowing, we'll go up to the top of 19 and start plowing 19 so we can get that seed wheat in. I've got the seed waiting here, ready to go, but uh, can't put it in until we get the field ready. The bottom half of 19 can wait because the beet won't be going in until late summer anyway. That'll be 
early to mid winter before we even think about lifting that. I like tent up in really cold weather, it keeps better. And I also find that the prices are normally stabilised by then and you get a better idea on what you get. And we're, again we're going to send that away on the train. As we did last year, we get a bit more for it. Well, we haven't got to pay the haulage to the local factory, which is a fair way away. It does mean there's no job for Stu. So I think we can find him something to do. Oh, this is going quite well, this is going better than I expected. As you see, we made a start about 5 o'clock this morning. Uh, awful time, I should really refill this too, but we're getting the early start. But hey, I can't think of everything. There has been a suggestion I should uh, replace this with the dudes, this uh, particular tractor. It will be replaced. I'm looking for something about 250 brake horse. This is 203, but a little bit lightweight. As you can see, it, get, it got pushed around badly by the uh, muck spreader. I think the JCB would have dealt with it, but I prefer to have the JCB plowing. But we've got we're going to be mucking all these and doing what we're doing here. We're not going to put muck down and then plow. We're going to plow, muck, cultivate. Although we have got a direct drill seeder. I'm not too worried about that. The extra step actually helps to get the ground in best possible condition. And it it's a case we need this we need this soil in tip top condition we're it's all very low on moisture I think we're gonna be spraying I think as soon as Tom's finished he's gonna put the possibly put the plow away and start spraying again. I might have to take up the plow to get things done. Although we need to cultivate too so let's Brought us a line, I want to get all the ploughing done before we really start to seed. Although I may seed this one before that. Oh, and Tom's finished. Well, send him off for some breakfast, I think. I'm just going to stop this here at the moment and go and. Uh... No, he's ain't done a bad job at all. Yes, yeah, very pleased with that. In fact, he could possibly go and do another one. I think one still needs. Always miss some, and you can't help it. We'll need to put some lime down after it's cultivated, not lime before we cultivate. I don't want her up pH too far. If I do with some rain, it will just wet the fields down nicely. So if I remember right, five and six are are they done? No, yeah, yeah, they're done. They're done, ready to cultivate, and they have got a lot. In our one hasn't been done. I think I'll put him onto one and I'll put Kylie up on the top field. It's a nasty field to try and do. So I'm going to put him on here. Let's get him started off. We've got it in the way. Oh. I remember where it is now, it's over this side, I think. Yeah, here we are. Well, you soon want some juice and all. Ah, uh, there. 
leave him going. And she's almost done. So uh, I'll be the one who's got to finish this all. I'm not going to wait. I'm not going to bother to wait until uh, Tom's done one. I think <laughs> no one's got that amount of time. As soon as Kylie's finished, I'm going to finish this episode off. And we and she can start off next time. Oh, I think we're wrapping ourselves around the tree again. I think I'll get the other half of 12 done and I've got barley in both halves. So you know we are well known for our barley. Our molten barley here so I, I need to keep going with barley. And the straw won't be any uh, bad store either. I still haven't really sorted out what I'm doing on which field, but I uh, have to have a talk to Kylie. Oh, I got a phone call from Paul before I forget. Uh, and uh, he, sh he definitely will be here to work in his wheelchair, uh, start a harvest, so uh, it's looking good. And that'll be a handy time to have him because he can sort out selling the grain. Job I hate. If I get that wrong, it costs us too much. If he gets it wrong, it's still going to cost a lot, but it won't be my fault for once. So I think we've got too much more of this to do. A fair amount. Now it's six o'clock. Oh. Two times a year on the farm, it's, you don't get a lot of sleep. One is this time of year when you're preparing and seeding the fields, and then when you're harvesting, not a lot of spare time in either of those. The rest of the year is fine. Fertilising and spraying water about. Spraying the herbicide in, and that's about it. Oh, and look now, the animals. But that's it, something I enjoy doing. Normally, I normally end up looking after the animals. I really must wash this tractor and take a look and see what Chad can do for us in Park Exchange for another new tractor. Oh, I say another new tractor. Be our first new tractor since so we got the JCB on. Well. I missed one or two bits, uh, can't wait this, but again, I'm not going to worry because the, uh, we use this, we'll probably use a six metre seeder on it. I don't know, I'll be use a nine metre on here, I should imagine. And I think that's direct drill as well. Depends who's uh, free to do it. I might even get Tom to do some seeding. And I'll pick up the uh, other uh, plow once I've got the other fields mucked. And I've now got 10 to muck. Home field shouldn't want mucking. At least I hope not. I might just give that a spray of slurry out. And I think the load, I think all these things and then don't uh, follow them through. Take your notes there, and that isn't going to be a quick video. Just look at the time we've been going. I think we might end here. But
Alright, let's get rid of this. That. And that. Come out of the cab. Oh, it is a terrible day. Oh. Early after morning. Can't beat it. There we go. And get everything back. Bring us up another level. Oh, there's no other levels. So we used to using 17. Right, I'm going to say thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, please consider leaving a like. If you're not a subscriber and still would like to watch 15 stuff, feel uh, free to subscribe. I do this once a week, every Friday. There's an old ridge, which is a story driven map. The reason I'm staying on this because it's, it's a part of me. That's what I think BP said in his last uh, stream. It's a part of me. We have been playing this for so long. I'm just going to. I will just fill some bits in here. It's going to annoy me if not. Man, yeah, there's nothing worse than an annoyed man. All right, oh yes. Uh, any comments, questions, or queries, feel free to post in the comment section. I try and answer every one. I miss sometimes, but for those, I, I apologise. And if you have made a comment, I missed that I haven't answered. It, let me know. Just comment again, and I will try and dig up what you what. Uh, gem you, you have written and uh, comment on it or at least acknowledge it so with that is the man saying cheerio for now cheerio